Lawrence Neal, I'm the Chair of the New South Wales Heritage Council and I'm here to introduce the Minister, uh, the Lord Mayor and the local member. Um, this is a very uh, exciting occasion because this listing has come about through the Council who nominated these buildings and the Heritage Branch and Bill Nethery, the Heritage Officer who's looked after the listing, is retiring at the end of September and this will, this will be the last of his 10 listings. So I thank, on behalf of the, the, the Heritage Branch, who served the, so, so, so uh, studiously the, the Heritage Council, I thank uh, both Susan Duca, who's here, the Senior Heritage Officer, and Bill Nethery. Um, so let me start off by uh, acknowledging the traditional owners of the land, the people of the Wakabaka country, um, and uh, so the Rumi people, the elders past and present, um, for this uh, extraordinary valley and, and extraordinary waters uh, that is their country. Um, so I just want to say uh, one thing about this uh, grand complex of buildings, which was designed by uh, Henry L.I. White. I think. As Australians, we get a bit tired of high-achieving New Zealanders coming over here. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I'm right. sorry, we welcome them. But everyone, the high-achieving, we scratch them and they are a New Zealander. Um, Henry, Ellie, uh, Henry Eli White was born in Dunedin, <coughs> the architect of this complex, in, in uh, uh, 1875. He designed many theatres. He, he, father was a builder. He was a builder and an architect, and an excellent combination. Um, he uh, left Dunedin and went to Christchurch, uh, then built the Majesty's Theatre in, in Wellington, then uh, uh, came to Australia in, in, when he was 40 in the, in the middle of the First World War, and designed in Australia, in Mexico, all over the world, 130 130 very famous theatres. They're called atmospheric theatres, uh, originally uh, developed by an architect in Hollywood called John Eberson. Uh, atmospheric means that they, the French have a wonderful word for this called maison scène, putting on a scene. They put on a scene, you walk in there and you feel that the movie's starting. I got interested in Henry White because uh, I persuaded the then minister to put a heritage order on the Capitol Theatre in Sydney, which then was turned into a, a, an actual theatre, not just a movie palace, and it's been going strong ever since, owned by the City Council, and that was designed by uh, Henry White. Um, then the great state theatre in Sydney was designed by Henry White, and he went back to New Zealand and designed more theatres in Wellington, he designed them in Mexico. He was a, a really extraordinary architect, 130, 130 um, theatres. Died in King's Cross in Sydney in 1952. And this is, in many ways, one of his greatest complexes, both this and the Civic Theatre. This grandeur and using the style, the, the classical style, for the building of democracy and then the sort of Georgian style for the theatre wonderful council chambers that right behind us and the, the great theatre in here and then the civic theatre. Um, it's been a wonderful uh, bringing people together in the Hunter. I mentioned particularly my wife who comes from Singleton. This was the first time she'd ever heard live music in the, in the civic theatre in, in, in this complex. So um, it's a, it's a very special place and it's, of course, surprising that it hasn't had a state heritage listing until now. So, um, the, the, the Minister will speak first and, and then uh, Jeff McCloy, the Lord Mayor of Newcastle, will follow and then the uh, local member, Tim Owen. And now I'd like to introduce our first Minister for Heritage for 23 years, uh, Robert Parker who's really, as I only know from the inside, is really thinking and stirring about heritage and bringing it back into a very special place in this state. Minister. Not a Kiwi.
Thanks, Lawrence. And I, I, I enjoyed the reference to being a stirrer as well. So I, I think that's what we need from our ministers. And I'm sure there might be a bit of stirring in this place going on uh, with our new Lord Mayor. So uh, that's what we want. We want this place to really kick on, but we also want to make sure that our heritage is recognised. So um, can I say it's great to be here. This is um, the second Newcastle heritage listing I've had the pleasure of uh, announcing since I became a heritage minister, and the first was the cathedral. It is a, uh, an important role in terms of recognising our heritage, and first of all, I would like to acknowledge the Awabaka people and understand and respect their custodianship because we all have our stories, our heritage, our, um, our, our combined um, uh, heritage and history that goes together to make this place special and important. So it's not a token acknowledgement, but it is an understanding that we all go together as custodians of this place. And as we have now a new council, we are very much aware of how important it is that Newcastle takes with it that heritage and important origins of what made Newcastle great, and we make it even greater. So I am delighted that we have a new Lord Mayor and new council who are um, invigorated with the possibilities of making Newcastle and the Hunter region as great as we all know it can be. And I share that passion with uh, our local member, Tim Owen. I know together, as a great team, we talk about the Hunter MPs as hunting and cats. Um, we have differences of opinion over some important infrastructure issues, but generally, we have the Hunter at heart and we enjoy the opportunities that that, that that gives us of making sure that we're on the, uh, we are definitely on the page when it comes to the state government. So it is delightful to be here and to acknowledge, uh, and, and also to thank Lawrence Neal, our, our Chair of the Heritage Council. Lawrence is um, someone I'm very proud to have as the Chair. He lectures at Newcastle University and has uh, a very prestigious architectural um, career uh, before him and still currently, so it's delightful. And I learn a lot, including how um, high-achieving New Zealanders can do great things. This is a great listing. I mean, because we're talking about this building here, and it is iconic, and people in The Hunter have a story about this building, almost, almost to a fault, because it's been the, the site of great celebrations of great uh, events and it will continue to do so. And the Civic Theatre the same. You are just struck by the majesty of the Civic Theatre every time you go in there. And, and it's a, a flexible theatre in terms of what it offers. It's not just for theatrical productions, but we use that so much. So it's great to see heritage buildings adapted and used and I'm delighted to hear there's another heritage building going to be adapted and reused in the, in the Newcastle area. Um, as I've read in the paper today. So that is how we want to take heritage forward in New South Wales. And as Minister, that's, I guess, the stirring that we're doing, is making sure, working with the Heritage Council, that we recognise the significance of heritage buildings, but we also recognise the importance of making sure they, are, they live on, they have a story that continues to be told, and we use them, we adaptively reuse them so that we can preserve and protect them for, for future generations. So it is a pleasure um, to be here to announce the heritage listing of the um, Newcastle City Hall and the Civic Theatre. Um, and what that means, people always say, well, what does that mean to be on the heritage register? What that means is we do preserve and ask that uh, in future um, uh, developments or plans that heritage is taken into account. So it provides protections to those buildings um, and it makes sure that they are preserved. It also then makes sure that those buildings that are heritage listed are able to get, uh, and the owners of those, whether they're private or public, have the ability to have access to expert advice. It also means that they have the ability to access and apply for very meagre funding that's available from the New South Wales State Government, but funding nevertheless to keep these buildings alive. So no doubt uh, Newcastle City Council will come uh, forward when we have open our uh, heritage funding grants uh, coming up soon. So as uh, Lawrence Neal said, this City Hall is an example of a classic style uh, created and designed by Henry White, an internationally acclaimed theatre 
um, architect. So it does de demonstrate, um, I guess, uh, a crafted example of the Georgian revival style. So its interior is still uh, quite elaborate. Um, I think the Civic Theatre apparently, I'm told, is a uh, Spanish and Moroccan style. So there you go, we have something quite exotic in the Hunter. Uh, it is really uh, rare in terms of its scale, its style and its internal uh, detailing. And, and as uh, Lawrence said, it's com comparable with um, the Capitol and State Theatres. So it is a focal point of our social life, it's a focal point of our local government and as a New South Wales government we're committed to uh, revitalising our heritage and I am delighted to list the, the uh, Newcastle City Hall and the Civic Theatre officially on the State Heritage Register and I have some certificates to hand over before we hear from the Lord Mayor and Tim Owen. So, do we want to do that now or after? Well, should we do that now? Or do we want to do that now? Do it now. Do it now. I do what I'm told. I'm the barrel girl. So congratulations, Lord Mayor. Thank you very much. There's two certificates to hang proudly. And can I say thank you to the staff from the Heritage Branch who've worked very hard with, with local historians and with the council staff to have this uh, take place. Shall we move home? It's like a school prize. Do you think so, Jim? Where are the chains in there? <laughs> Thank you. There is a little change of order. My program suggests that Mr. Rowan should talk next. <laughs> but I'm happy to be very flexible about oh, this thing. We're always flexible, mate. <laughs> Uh, it is fantastic to get this building uh, listed because it is a quite a fantastic building. Uh, it deserves uh, uh, fixing, as you can see here. We have quite some damage to this building, and the funds have been allocated to uh, uh, start on the, the tower, the clock tower itself. Uh, I understand there's been some good technical advice given from uh, Sydney consultants uh, regarding fixing the sandstone, so it's not like it's just been a a half-baked job that put a lot of effort into the technical side of fixing this particular building. But I welcome uh, uh, Minister Parker. Um, she's uh, quickly gained a knowledge of her heritage in her portfolio and it is a very important aspect of our, of our city. <coughs> we have uh, marvellous buildings in here such as City Hall, City Theatre, Ford Scratchley, the Cathedral Park and the Council, we invest in these assets, not only for their economic benefit, but also for the social and cultural vitality they give the city. This is quite a marvellous precinct. And with the, the theatre over there, this here, the new library, we're going to create, I think, an incredible hub for the centre of this city. We have had words about the architect, Henry White, so I will not talk too much about that. Uh, I am a businessman, I'm, so I'm much fewer words, of course, than our professional politicians. The uh, trial repairs, I understand, have been done, and, and that, uh, those trial repairs will gain knowledge so that the, the ongoing repairs will be done to a high standard and last quite a long time. As Lord Mayor, I'm delighted to accept this listing from the Minister. I'm looking forward to working with the Heritage Council in continuing to care for conserve our great heritage assets. But there needs, of course, uh, to be flexibility with regard to health heritage on a, on a practical sense. Whilst heritage and wonderful buildings like this is so important, we also have to have the balance. Like when the old Frederick Bash and Ash building went down, which was, you couldn't get a proper adaptive reuse, but properly photographed, properly recorded, properly understood, so that the new law courts, as a modern building, will take its place, will sit proudly against this building. And I welcome that sort of progressive thinking because the two lots of thinking is most necessary to the problem. Thank you. Well, I'm to <laughs> conclude this uh, great event. Thanks, Lawrence. Much appreciated. Um, thanks, folks. And you, are, you know I'm always a man of very few words, but I do 
uh, very much welcome the uh, the addition of both uh, the City Hall and also the Civic Theatre. And I, and I think we would all agree, I mean, Newcastle is an absolutely beautiful city. It has some fantastic heritage buildings, and it's a great pleasure to be here this morning to see these icons of the city of Newcastle added in that context. But I do agree with Jeff that uh, it's about where we can do adaptive reuse, uh, and you would all know as well that we are on the crest of some significant change in the city, and that has to include new development and moving the city forward, but also recognising very, very clearly what are key, beautiful, heritage-listed buildings that need to be maintained and sustained in, in, the, in the city. And I think when you look around the city of Newcastle, and as we move forward over the next decade, there'll be an absolutely fantastic mix of heritage buildings left as they are, adaptive reuse as appropriate, and also new development, which I think will really uh, you know, continue to put us on the map as, as a fantastic, not only New South Wales city, but a city around Australia and frankly around the world. So to the Minister, thank you very, very much. We welcome the listening very much indeed. And Jeff, I hope you look after them very well, mate. I'm sure you will. Um, and thank you all very much this morning. And uh, that's about it. Thank you very much indeed. I just have one more thing to add, and I did hear that there were some funds available, so I assume the staff are already penning that application. <laughs> 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 <laughs>